Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're gonna to be talking all about lab safety. Because let's face it, the best part about science is doing a science experiment, right? So we're gonna to need to know a couple of things to keep ourselves and others safe around us. And um, the very first thing is you have to know where materials are in your classroom in case of an emergency. So please make sure that your teacher points out to you where the fire extinguisher is um, in your classroom or in your lab room, wherever you're at, make sure you know where it is, as well as the eye wash station, and make sure that you know how to use them in case of an emergency. The next thing you wanna do is make sure you're dressing correctly for that particular lab. Every lab is different, and you'll be required to have different dress code for each one, but your teacher will always guide you on what you need. But it could be something like proper goggles, you could have to wear gloves, or possibly an apron, depending on what the lab is going to entail. Now, we always say no horseplay, right? But <laughs> every year, somebody says, well, what is horseplay? I don't even know what that is, right? So basically, it's just saying, don't get so rambunctious. This is not a time to party and get wild, right? It is a time to have fun and learn, but we have to do it in a manner in which that we're not going to be spilling chemicals, we're not going to be starting a fire or anything crazy, breaking glass. We don't want any injuries in this time. So we just need to keep it a little bit low key as we're having our fun, okay? And then above all, you need to follow directions, okay? So you're going to have your procedures and your plan in place. You're going to have your lab report there. Everything's going to have directions on it. You need to make sure you thoroughly read those directions and follow them. All right, please do not go mixing chemicals. Uh, it says um, not to mix. You need to make sure that you're reading those directions. And if it says mix, then you can, but not before that, right? Don't guess, don't say, oh, it's gonna be so cool or anything like that. Um, because who knows what you could possibly do. You can mix wrong chemicals and things go disastrous. So make sure you're following directions at all times. Um, and then <laughs> do not eat or drink anything. You guys, every year, Somebody wants to eat or drink something in the lab. We get out some kind of a chemical and it looks like cherry Kool-Aid. I promise you it's not cherry Kool-Aid, okay? Don't go drinking stuff you don't know what it is. Sometimes teachers want to give you something and it says unknown substance. That doesn't mean it's edible, okay? <laughs> Please do not eat or drink anything. They can be harmful, dangerous chemicals, all right? All right, and if you're unsure of anything at all, you need to ask. So whether it's the procedure, whether it's the what materials you need, how to conduct the, a lab experience, uh, experiment itself, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, you need to make sure you're asking along the way. That is gonna be the number one thing that keeps us safe and secure is that we always know exactly what we're supposed to do at all times, okay? And then when you're all done with your lab, you need to make sure that you're cleaning up your area. So you're putting all your materials back where they go for the next people. You're washing out your beakers, test tubes, whatever it is you're working with that day. And you're disposing your chemicals in the right location and your teacher will let you know where to dispose of the chemicals properly, okay? And that if you ever have anything like broken glass that you're letting your teacher know right away so that she can clean it up or he can clean it up um, and that you are not touching anything that's broken or can possibly harm you, okay? You just need to notify a teacher right away for that. And make sure you're washing your hands after you get done, sanitize your area, and you are good to go. But above all, you guys, science labs are about exploration and having fun learning science, right? So make sure that you enjoy yourself along the way, that you explore all those scientific concepts and have a fabulous time doing it. I'll see y'all next time. All right, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and support my channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.